everyone. I apologize, it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been kind of a crazy last summer and, and uh, winter, but I uh, thought today I would share with you my uh, homemade version of a alcohol wash test kit. Um, I use these Ball brand uh, 16 ounce freezer jars. They're plastic. Uh, get them at Walmart for $3.76. They come in a two-pack, which is, which is exactly what you need. And then I just use some of this uh, Equate brand or version of uh, self-adhesive sports tape. That creates a really nice um, seal, uh, watertight, uh, in this case alcohol-tight uh, seal. And you can see here actually been using it so it's, it's wet. It, I mean it is so solid. It doesn't come off and it, it creates a really good airtight seal. Um, so all I do is, I well first of all I took this bottom and I used a hole saw and drilled out the bottom and then cut a piece of hardware cloth that uh, fit the diameter and then I just used regular household iron. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend that you use your wives just in case you ruin it, but this thing works great. You just put it right on there and it melts it right down onto it. Uh, that thing's not coming off. You'd have to cut that thing out of there now. It's so so solidly embedded uh, in there. So that's your cut portion that you, you dump your bees in. I put it all together first. Set it down nice and tight. Leaves a nice gap at the bottom there where you can uh, look at the mites that fall through. Uh, then just simply pour your alcohol in to the level that you want it. Pour your half cup of bees or whatever your uh, whatever amount you're using. I usually use about a half a cup of bees uh, in there. Put the lid on it. These lids are really nice. They seal really really good and tight. So again, you're not going to have it leaking everywhere and spilling out. Um, put that thing on there nice and tight, like that, and then you just give it a good shake and swirl and bounce it around and do that for 30, 45 seconds, minute maybe, whatever you like. And then all you have to do is you can look up through the bottom or through the sides there and you can count your mites. Um, then it's real easy to uh, then take apart and reuse for your next one if you're doing multiple hives uh, in the yard. Uh, works out great. Love the kit. Really simple. You can make it for about, uh, you can make it for less than five dollars. And should last you a long time. Uh, really durable, hard plastic. So. Um, have plans this year to, to do a bunch more videos if, if things go well. Uh, probably my biggest thing I'm going to try to do this year is uh, some swarm splitting. I usually catch a number of swarms and I'm going to see how many splits I can make out of the swarm and get them into winter and then on the, outside, on the other side of winter. So I'll probably do some kind of a mini series and let you follow along. We'll see how many splits. Uh, I'm hoping to get uh, 10 new colonies out of each uh, swarm that I catch this year. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'd be happy if I got five, but if we can get 10, that'd be great. Uh, so watch for that. I'll probably start that just right after the first swarm that I catch this year, and then we'll just kind of go through the season and see how things go. I have some other things that I'm working on. Uh, a box painting jig that uh, I'm going to be welding together and putting uh, putting it together um, and so I'll keep you posted on that as well I have uh, quite a few other things ideas if you have ideas things you'd like me to talk about or have questions about anything please uh, put comments down in the in the remarks and I'll be happy to answer them and if we need to do a video on it I'd be happy to do that as well uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe um, you gonna also do some giveaways this year so keep stay tuned and uh, I'm going to give some things away throughout the, the bee season. Thanks for watching. Uh, come back again soon. Thanks.